right side to Clive Allen. Give off Roberto Montavani back to Allen. McConnell with a quick slap over to the left side to Kayvon Stewart. He'll dribble off the left wing. 12 to shoot. Kayvon in the foul circle. Cuts around to the left on a spin move. Hangs, fires a teardrop and scores. And the Colonials break some ice here and go up 16 to 9. Yeah, it's pretty pat. Both arms outstretched in the key playing defense. Kayvon Stewart will try a three-point ball. It's no good, but Aaron Tate out jumped everybody and got the tap in. His second tap tonight. Holding right side high. Gives off to Deshaun Burke. Bad pass, but he got deflected to Allen. He got it down underneath the Roberto Montabani. And he goes up and sends it in off the window on a kisser. And it's 22 to 17. Yeah, excellent. On the baseline, Conrad Stevens sends it back outside to Kayvon. Drives to the baseline, sends it way back out to the top of the key where Clive Allen is waiting to catch and shoot a three. Yeah, that's a great drive by Kayvon Stewart. And he threw that ball all the way out to Clive Allen. When Clive Allen is open. Clock here, Chris. Here's the inbound quickly. McConnell to right to Burke oh. over to the left side for a three fading backwards on the wing and it's good and the Colonial lead is 30 to 23. Man I'm a Deshaun Burke fan Chris I'll tell you I just that, that kid he, once he learns how to play the game he's it to Aaron Tate back out front to cave on his pass intended for Deshaun Burke is picked off a dribble drive by Cumberlander stolen back by Kayvon Stewart. Right down the left lane long rebound Clive Allen now to Kayvon Stewart Along the left corner, he slides into the lane, gliding right, pushing it left. Nelson Cumberlander with eight points now after that bucket. Here's Deshaun Burke running down through the right lane, changing hands, shoveling it in with the left hand. It's good. It over to the right side. And a pull up three off the mark to the right by Cumberlander. The rebound to the Colonials. Here comes Kayvon Stewart. Stewart gives off. Braden Burke flies into the lane. Push shot off the glass down through as it circles around the cylinder. Top of the key drive down the right side lane. And Kayvon Stewart hesitated for a moment. And that gave Batiste a chance to slap the ball away. Fast break the other way. Austin Nels lays it up. Scores. Gets fouled. Count it. And the rebound, a long one. Out to Kayvon Stewart. The Colonials have it back. Stewart drives down the right lane and lays it up with a left hand and scores. And Kayvon, now in the ball game, has nine. Yeah. Again, swings it left side. Stewart, McConnell driving the left baseline. Hands off underneath. Montavani with a lay-in for Robert Morris, and the Colonials are up five. Yeah, that's a great drive and dish off by uh, Matty McConnell. Circular dribble, cuts back over to the right side, and a give and go pass stolen by Clive Allen. Fast break, one on four. Allen's gonna slice through everybody and take a little jump stop, double hop through the lane, and score on the right handed lay in off the left side. Six to shoot. Batiste knows it. Conrad Stevens all over him. Somehow he gets the ball off and banks it in off the inside. Conrad Stevens. Double team, sent it out high right. Three point there shot, go. good. Kayvon Stewart knocks it down. And Kayvon's been waiting for that one all night. He's had some really, really good looks from three and hasn't made any tonight. That is the first one. Robert Morris leads by 11. Oh, Nels cutting right, cutting back left. Maintains the dribble, slides to the left, fires a three, Ooh. and that just answered Kayvon Stewart, making it an eight point game again. Yeah, that was a nice shot by Nels. Over to the left side, Nels. Dribbles on the wing. Slides away from Deshaun oh. Burke. Oh, a beautiful step aside jump shot. That was a great 92 NCAA tournament appearance team and NEC tournament champions, the Robert Morris Colonials. And I know you feel the same way, but that team might be my favorite of all time. Central with the ball. Batiste over to the right side. And it's Nels for three from way out on the wing. He scores. And now it is an eight-point Robert Morris lead, 69 to 61, and we get a timeout call. Yeah, that was a... two seconds left. McConnell will dribble it into the forecourt and not take a shot, and that's the way the game will end. Robert Morris, 74, Central Connecticut State, 60.